earliest form of plant breeding was carried out by the first farmers who started to cultivate wild plants like this early form of tomato. Inevitably, in every crop, there were some seedlings that produced plants that had fruits that were a little bit bigger. Mutations occurred in the genetic information of the wild plants. And at the end, we started to get these really massive fruits. So it's a technique that anyone can do by growing out a crop of seedlings. You notice the biggest and the best, you save the seed from those. But then we progressed to a technique called cross-pollination where we wanted to incorporate the best features of two different plants. In most cases, it's two different species, so there's interspecific breeding. And a good example is the tomato. So we've got a wild relative of the tomato, and that has disease resistance characteristics, for instance, that we want to incorporate into the cultivated tomato. So to ensure that we get a cross-pollination of these two different genetic entities, we first extract the pollen from the male parent, the wild relative of the, of the tomato, and we then remove the male parts of the female parent with a technique called emasculation. This ensures that we don't get any chance pollination by insects. So the pollen from the male parent is then transferred to the female part of the female parent and this pollen is rubbed onto the stigma. That pollen then germinates, grows down and fertilizes the ovary and we get a hybrid fruit which then gives us a group of hybrid seedlings to select from. 